castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival. So you can see that he gets added to 3D Exchange, and then instantly our character starts to perform, so we can see how it looks. Now, this character is ready now for us to export out to our game engine. And we do this with FBX. And the way we access the FBX exporter is, first of all, we need to add our motion, which is over here on the right-hand side, to our performance editor. And so what this does is this tells the FBX file whenever we export it that there is animation included with it so that iClone and 3D Exchange will make sure that gets over to the game engine. In order to do that, you just select Motion Plus and then Add to Perform. Now that gets added to the Perform track here and we can also rename it. And so I'm gonna rename this Talk Castaway. All right, and then you can see that that starts at frame one and ends at 639. So it gives us all the information that we need to know how long that animation is. To export our FBX, we simply go up to the FBX icon here. You'll see Export FBX. You can also use Hotkey Control X to launch this panel. This panel gives us all of the different settings to export our FBX specifically for the engine we intend for it to be animated in. So this is important. As FBX is sometimes treated differently in different applications, we've already made optimized FBX output for 3ds Max, Unity, Unreal, as well as Motion Builder and Maya. You'll also have an update to be able to send this out to other game engines as well. Specifically for today we're going to talk about getting this into unity so we want to select unity 3d now what that does is it automatically gives us all the settings that we need to get that optimized output so that our character truly is what you see is what you get once you get over to your game engine with minimal changes to select the animation and make sure that it goes as well, we want to select include animation. And the reason why you might not do that is you might just want to be able to send a model over that doesn't have animation. However, we do. So we want to make sure we check that. And then you have the option to select the frame rate as well as to save as many motions as you like with one take per file. So if you have multiple animations and you want to have one animation file per you can select this as well. Also, iClone's 3D Exchange will set up the appropriate axis and unit for the destination that you have selected, which is also gonna be Unity 3D. Now we can name our avatar here, and so I'm gonna call this Castaway Talk 01 because it's my first one. You can save this anywhere you like. I'll just save it right here into my documents. When you're ready, go ahead and select OK to prepare the file. And that's it. Your FBX file is successfully exported and ready to go to Unity. The life of a castaway is no life at all. Out here, it's all about survival.